Hello, this is Clint Cody, Enterprise Technical Support Advisor with One Identity. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use the RADIUS test tool with Defender 5.9.1. This video assumes that Defender has already been installed and configured in your environment, that you have an AD user with a token available to perform the test, and that you have a copy of the RADIUS test tool software. What is the RADIUS test tool? With this tool, it should be possible to confirm that Defender is set up correctly and is processing authentications, allowing you to focus your troubleshooting efforts on other areas to determine the root cause. The main advantage of this tool is that it can send a test RADIUS request directly to the Defender security server, thereby eliminating any other factors such as network communication problems, incompatibility with other software products, or any other environmental issues that are potentially causing authentications to fail. In this video, I will demonstrate how to set up a test access node to use with the RADIUS test tool, perform a test authentication using the tool, review the results of the test, and also explain some potential error messages. Open Active Directory Users and Computers. Navigate to the Defender OU, right click on the Access Nodes OU, go to New, Defender Access Node. For the name, we will just use Test. Click Next. These options can remain as default. Click Next. Enter the address of the Defender Security Server. The port will be 1812. The subnet mask can remain as it is. And for the secret, we will just use the word secret. Click Next and Finish. Next, open the properties of the access node. On the Servers tab, we will assign the Defender Security Server that we will be using. On the Members tab, I will add the test user that I created. And for the purpose of this test, we will assign a token only policy. Now that we have everything configured, we can perform the test. So we will start by opening the RADIUS test tool, entering in the address of the Defender Security Server, entering in the shared secret we set on the access node, and the port 1812. The bottom section can be ignored. Click OK. Now to perform the test, go to the file menu and click send interactive. Enter in the username, test user, and because the policy was set to token only, you can put the token response in the password field. Click OK. And then you can see the result is access approved, which means the test was successful and the user was able to authenticate through Defender. I will now demonstrate some error messages that you will see when the authentication fails. For example, if I go to File and Send Interactive, enter Test User, and then enter in an incorrect token response code, you will see that it says invalid token response. It did not recognize the code that was entered. Another example is if I enter in the incorrect username. In this case, it will say access denied because that user was not found as a member on the access node. 
In this way, it's possible to determine the cause of the error based on the error message that's received. This concludes our video for today. For more information, you can visit support.oneidentity.com.